Hello there guys and a very warm welcome to today's tutorial video. Now, I don't really do many tutorials and uh, this is one of some, I suppose you could say. Um, in today's video, or today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to get the ENB on to your FSX and sort of make your flight sim look just that tad more realistic as uh, what it has been previously. And at the end of this video, uh, I'll add a, v a couple of pictures onto the end of the video where you can sort of see the difference of between EMB and everything like that. It just adds that little bit more realism into flying. I, th I tend to find it adds that little sort of more realistic sort of sunset and the just in real life when you actually look out the wing in the evening you can't see anything and that's what EMB tends to simulate. So first of all, um, go to my Dropbox which will be in the link, to the link below and download it and then you should have a folder which comes up like this on your desktop. For example, mine is called ENB. I don't know if it'll be called that after downloading it, but that's what it sort of it's it's that's what's in there. Um, ignore the messy desktop. We've got a couple of things on there, such as all my schoolwork and uh, sort of all my FSX stuff and sort of stuff like that. But anyways, I just ignore that. Open up the ENB folder, and you will be greeted by three different uh, folders or the three different items which are in this, which is the D3D9.dll. ENB palette.bmp and ENB series.ini. These are all which are which are needed. So which I recommend is you just quickly just highlight all three and drag them to your desktop. As you can now see, I've got them on my desktop. Now what you have to do is open up your folder. Obviously this is Windows 8. Obviously it's the same sort of procedure. But you, what you need to do after putting them onto the desktop is find your FSX directory, which for me is Windows C Programs R86. Microsoft Games, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator X. Now what you'll find is uh, I will already have these three in my directory, but you just pretty much just have to drag and drop it into the FSX directory. And uh, for my case, overwrite. And obviously overwrite anything if you need that to sort of perform that sort of procedure. So that's it really, that is all it really you have to do. Now the next instruction which I'm going to give you is when you go into your uh, flight simulator you, what you need to do is you need to press Control and F12. This is to toggle it on and off. Don't worry if you're sitting there pressing Control F12 and you don't think you realize anything you, you don't think you'll realize anything because there will be a significant change in color and sort of the sort of the way everything tends to look. So that's that. That's all okay. That's um, okay. So it's Control F12 to toggle on and off, toggle off. And the only other thing which I have found a little bit of EMB is uh, I have had to reapply my UL UIL automation core just to fix some fatal errors. Every now and then with EMB, I tend to find I get a couple of fatal errors, but it's very very rare. It's normally on startup or something, so that's completely okay. There's nothing sort of in flight. But apart from that, guys, all I can say is I hope you found this tutorial interesting, and I hope it's been helpful. It's just basic to get your EMB uh, onto your flight simulator X. So thanks ever so much for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.